looted investors of the Caspian financial institution gathered in front of the Iranian parliament. Iran, April 10, 2018. Looted investors of the Caspian financial institution who had gathered in front of the Iranian parliament on Monday, April 10, 2018, resisted assaults by Iranian security forces and police. Despite several arrests, the demonstrators continued their protest. The demonstrators yelled at the oppressive forces as much as you beat us, they said, and created a tense atmosphere. We will come back and we will not back off until we get our money back. Risks remain for those considering doing business with the Iran regime. The U.S. on Tuesday welcomed reports that the European Union was considering new sanctions on Iran's regime and said risks remained for those who were pondering doing business with Iran. The Under Secretary of Treasury for Terrorism and Financial Intelligence, Sigal Mankler, said there continue to be ongoing risks with doing business there because the Iranians have not reformed their system. Speaking in London, he said that Iran's regime was using money to support Hezbollah, Hamas, and Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad. She said there was no transparency in the Iranian banking system. Dozens of MEPs condemn Iran regime's misinformation campaign against the PMI MEK. Dozens of members of the European Parliament from various political groups from all over Europe in a joint statement on Monday strongly condemned the stepped-up campaign by the Iranian regime against the democratic opposition, namely the People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran, PMI or MEK, specifically the members of the organization who are now resident in Albania. In a letter to Antonio Tahani, the President of the Parliament, the signatories, including a vice president of the parliament, underscored that the statement pertains to a meeting organized by Ana Gomez, a pro-Iran Portuguese MEP, against the Iranian opposition at the European Parliament on April 10th, EU reporter wrote. Iran regime MPs call on central bank governor to resign as real plummets Iranian regime's President Hassan Rouhani and Central Bank Governor Valyullah Saif have come under heavy fire over the sudden devaluation of the rial. As the Iranian rial hit a record low, trading above 60,000 against the US dollar on April 9th, criticism against President Hassan Rouhani and Central Bank Governor Valyullah Saif have intensified. The rial has dropped in value over the last few months and reached an adir in the past two weeks, jumping from 50,000 against the dollar on March 26 to 60,000 on April 9th. France agrees on the need to tackle Iranian expansionism. France and Saudi Arabia agree on the pressing need to curb Iranian expansionism, according to the French president. Emmanuel Macron, at the end of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's three-day visit to France. Macron noted that although the two countries still did not see eye to eye on the 2015 Iranian nuclear deal, which France wants to preserve, they definitely agreed on the need to limit Iran's ballistic activity and regional expansionism. <laughs> 